K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, you know, we had one day with a high in the 70s yesterday, and it doesn't take long for our temps to rebound, right? 82 degrees right now at Tucson's airport. Clear skies, wind is light from the northwest at just about 6 miles per hour. Now, overnight, our sky is staying mostly clear. We'll dip to about 54 degrees in Tucson and then jump to 89, if not if not 90 degrees for Tucson tomorrow, but we are expecting mostly sunny skies. So a big warming trend is on the way. We're in the midst of it beginning already. I'll let you know if that will impact your weekend. And we have now a chance for rain in our forecast next week as well. Details on that in just a moment. But let's get to the important stuff first. What do you say? It's Wednesday. A lot of folks headed out. Dinner and a movie night, maybe. 74 degrees at 7 o'clock by 9, down to 70 and 11 o'clock is you're wrapping up that movie, maybe heading home 64 degrees and still mostly clear skies. So for the rest of us tonight, 50s and 40s, 49 degrees for Oracle, 46 no Gallus, but 54 for you in Oral Valley, 51 for Green Valley, and then by Thursday afternoon, we're talking 79 in Oracle, 90 Marana, we'll be close to it here in Tucson as well, 91 Casa Grande, 88 Green Valley, but how about that 77 degrees for you in Bisbee? That's Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? A look across southern Arizona. Our clouds are rain in motion. We have nothing to show you here. And yes, it is working. It's working. Look at the time up in the corner of your screen. It's just that we don't have any clouds over us right now. And this is the reason why. You start to see those clouds kind of being forced up and over our high pressure here that is sitting across southern Arizona into northern Mexico and New Mexico. But you're noticing this big mass of clouds moving into the northwest, right? That looks pretty serious, almost ominous, uh, if you will. This storm system, you might think it's going to bring us rain, but it's going to skip over Arizona entirely. Now, if you have any friends or family up in Washington, Oregon, Northern California, they're expecting some showers from this particular storm system. But because that high pressure sitting over Arizona, all of that rain is going to be deflected to our north. And this is the pattern that we see taking shape here all the way through our weekend. Here's our jet stream, okay, that steering mechanism for storms, and it's way to our north. So as that front moves into the northwest, it's going to stay to our north as it makes its way through the Intermountain West, bringing on a bit of rain. Instead, expect mostly clear skies, very warm temperatures for southern Arizona right on through our weekend. 89 degrees again on Friday, if not 90. We'll be in the upper 80s Saturday, 87, 80. 86 on Sunday and mostly sunny skies across the board. Now it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that we start to notice some changes with another system moving through. It will bring our temps down just a touch. OK, nothing drastic, but we'll be near 80 degrees as we make our way through those three days. Some gusting winds near 30 miles per hour at times and our chance for rain is slim at 10 percent. It's not great. But it's there, 10%. There's your seven-day forecast. Clear skies through our Sunday and temperatures in the upper 80s through then. And then knocking those temps down just a touch to the upper 70s to near 80 degrees early next work week. Great, Aaron, and welcome back. Thank you so much. <laughs> Got it. Did you know April is National Garden Month? Mm -hmm. Well, TripAdvisor put...